to better grasp an understanding of these California fires and to make things a little more simple, I'm fixing to show you guys definitive proof straight from the horse's mouth that these fires were intentionally set and was a planned event. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into it. As the California fires are burning out of control and hundreds of thousands of people evacuating, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to ask why this is happening. As I've recently showed in my other videos, Logic Before Authority has pinpointed exactly the time, the date, and location of each fire as it began. And as for this uncontrollable blaze, as it spread over 10,000 acres plus, there's no difference. Agenda 21, now known as Agenda 30, is continuing its job of wreaking havoc along the West Coast. On the screen in front of you is Daniel over at Logic Before Authority, and he's staying on top of these fires, guys. If you want 100% dedication and facts before they're put out, on any other uh, stream of media, you guys need to go over and check him out. It's Logic Before Authority. It's a great channel, and he does some great work. Now, the particular focus in this video that's being shown is the Kincaid, California fires. What looked like a massive, simultaneous explosion, which probably consisted of at least 10 different explosions all in one setting is what's behind the fires in Kincaid. This video clip is from alertwildfire.org and it shows the very seconds that this Kincaid fire began. The multiple explosions I was talking about and you can tell as soon as it goes dark the fire begins. But the real question still remains with all this proof and all this video footage and satellite footage how come nobody is saying nothing about it? Circled in red on the screen is when the fires began. You gotta see this for yourself. This here is just a slowed down version of the same video. All right guys, here's the point of Agenda 21, now known as Agenda 2030. See, the government knew right off the bat that they couldn't come in and purchase every bit of this land and property from these people. So they went to plan B, burn them out. Agenda 21 talks about pushing and moving by force everyone out of the country and into what they call a smart city, which is total 100% control of the masses. And that is the point of these fires. As you all watch this recipe for disaster, the one minute worth of explosions, 70 mile an hour winds, and the dry, dusty mountains of California. These fires seem to be set up to the point of no failure, absolute no failure. Now next is what I call the smear campaign by Fire Chief Parks. And I say smear in a different meaning, as in smear it in the face of the people. They knew this was coming he clearly states it's a planned weather event. Watch for yourself. Good afternoon. My name is Mike Parks, P-A-R-K-E-S, Cal Fire, Sonoma Lake Napa Unit, and the incident commander for today's fire. Uh, about 9, uh, 9.27 last night, uh, resources were dispatched to a reported vegetation fire in the area of the Geysers Geothermal Plant up on Geysers Road in the area of Geyserville, California. Uh, first arriving resources arrived at scene to find a, a large fire of a couple hundred acres already in size and with a rapid rate of spread, um, moving in multiple directions through different drainages up in the in rugged terrain. They quickly augmented the response where we um, added additional CAL FIRE resources and reached out to our local government partners for additional help from them as well. The fire turned out to be fueled by uh, what we believe to be about, about 60 mile an hour winds, plus or minus, 
and the terrain up there in that area is really rugged. Throughout the night, the fire continued to push wind-driven down toward the community of Geyserville in that general area, pushed down and, and, and surfaced in the Geyserville area sometime around 5, 5.30 o'clock this morning. Uh, at that point, uh, we initiated uh, the uh, evacuation order for the community of, Vac uh, community of Geyserville along with the Sheriff's Office, working with the Sheriff's Office, and uh, evacuated that community as well as other areas up above the fire area. Uh, we had augmented our dispatch for the weather of the time. We had additional helicopters on, additional personnel, uh, additional engines, and the, uh, our regional uh, command center had added a night flying aircraft as well to be prepared in advance of this weather event that we saw coming. To be prepared in advance of this weather event that we saw coming. Weather event that we saw coming. To be prepared in advance of this weather event that we saw coming. With all the continuous blackouts, and raging wildfires in California. I want everyone to remember that there's hundreds of thousands of people that are defenseless right now. And I feel like everybody should do their own part to help spread the news about what's going on in California to beat wildfires. Also, I'll be adding some links to help donate to people who have lost everything in the description below. Guys, I appreciate everybody watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Share the video, and until then, I'll see you all in the next one.